My full name is Hassel Khan Bizanjo, and uh, I'm a son of late Mir Hosef Bizanjo. And actually, my father uh, was a nationalist politician, and he always they have a struggle for national rights of the people of Pakistan at that time, that the East Pakistan, West Pakistan. The main struggle in West Pakistan, the nationalist leaders, especially Ghoswash Bizanjo, Khan Abdul Wali Khan, even Sheikh Mujib, the main thrust of their politics at that time was one unit. Because they have developed two units. One was the name of East Pakistan, one was in the West Pakistan. But we believe that Pakistan was the country of five nationalities. The Bengalis, Baloch, Punjabi, Sindhi, and Pashtuni. But this was denied after death of Qaeda Azam. When Ayub Khan put this uh, one unit, and with the, they run with the two governors, one in the East Pakistan and the one in the West Pakistan. From that day, this struggle has been started for the right of the nationalities. And because in this process, there were two major, major political parties which were fighting for this uh, right of the nationalities. And one was a uh, Awami League, and second uh, biggest party was National Awami Party, which is in EPTA uh, at that time. Actually, this was the struggle for the national rights. But at the meantime, all the dictators, uh, especially like start from Skandar Mizza up to Ayub Khan, they have denied this one. And they say those people who ask for the right of the nationalities, if they say they are self Bengali, if they said they are Baloj, or Pakhtun, or Punjabi, they are anti-Pakistanis. This was basic, uh, I think, uh, alliance with the East and West. And for that, uh, if you go to the, down to the history uh, about my father, which I remember always in the jail, he had remained in the jail more than 18 years in different time. And same position was with Wali Khan and all the NAP workers and political leaders and same positions were here. With Maulana Bashani, uh, Mujib Rahman and other Awami League leaders. Actually, this was a st joint struggle of the national rights within uh, East and West. Because of that, the Bengali leadership and the uh, Baloch leadership and Pakhtun leadership, they become very close at that time. Because uh, everybody is uh, interested in here, what happened? Uh, maybe few people know it. Actual problem was, this, uh, it's okay that Islamabad and was denying the right to the Bengalis. He was assembly uh, denying the rights of uh, Baloch and Pakhtun. And uh, interestingly, uh, before the operation started in, uh, in Dhaka and Bengal, or you can say at that time East Pakistan. Before that, army have three op operations he uh, did in Baluchistan already. On 57, 58, then 65, last one was 73. And you can say now also it's continuing. In 70 elections, one thing unique happened that one unit has been abol uh, abolished at that time. Now they have become five provinces actually. In East Pakistan, or, uh, in Bengal, Awami League swept. And the same position was in Baluchistan, in uh, NWF at that time, now its name is uh, Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa. NEP won the election in Baluchistan, and NWFP. And Mujib have won the election in East Pakistan. 
the establishment of Pakistan have realized this. That they know these people are politically think on the same level. The leadership of Balochistan, leadership of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, and Bengali leadership. I think this was the turning point for the establishment. And they have realized if these people become in the power, they will make more difficult to rule for the establishment, especially the army and the bureaucracy and right-wing think thinkers. What they did, they need a leader. Because the, now after the election, problem becomes they don't have the leader. They put Zulfikar Ali Bhutto as their leader. And Bhutto is as much a uh, power angry man. And he accepted all the demands of the establishment. When Mujib have asked for the assembly in Dhaka, the first man he refused, that was Zulfikali Bhutto. Because Bhutto was known, know it, if I win there, the government will go to Mujib and half of East Pakistan will be allied with Mujib and I will never be in power. From here the main case has been started, uh, what I know, maybe there are many backgrounds that exploitation of Islamabad uh, to the resources of Bangar, resources of Balochistan, resources of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. But this was a, uh, when the establishment become known it, from here they have started the game actually. When Mujib asked uh, the, the members of the East, West Pakistan that I'm uh, uh, majority, being a majority leader, you should come there. Because the major uh, portion was with Zulfikar Libutto because the most uh, populated areas are Punjab and Sindh, they were with, with Bhutto. But there are two uh, other provinces, Baluchistan, which is a land wise 44% of Pakistan. And again, the Pakhtur, uh, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Bhutto had refused them. And all the NEP members of the National Assembly, that was the Ghosbaksh Bizanjo, that was Khyber Bakhshmari, Arbab Skanda, and uh, Khan Abdul Wali Khan, they all have came to Dhaka on the call of uh, Sheikh Mujib. And uh, there was a very uh, famous uh, sentence of Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. I will tell it in Urdu. This was the famous uh, 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 sentence of Zulfikar Ali Bhutto. Because he and Yahya Khan, they have joined the hand. They have come here, after that they went back. When the tension was arised, Yahya Khan asked the National Party leaders, Can you come here and go and tell, uh, start the negotiation with the uh, Mujib. My father was Baksh Bizanjo and Khan Abdul Wari Khan. They again came to Dhaka. They have started negotiation with the uh, Mujib. Uh, in his memories, my father uh, wrote that when I and Mujib, I and Wali Khan uh, was staying with Mujib and we arguing with them, Kiar Mujib, Pakistan nahi toro. So Mujib have given a very interesting reply to my father and uh, Wali Khan. One can look you both. Wali Khan is the son of Ghaffar Khan. And Ghosbakh uh, Shu. You both are against Pakistan in 1947. You are from Kalat. You have made a speech and refused to join Pakistan. And Ghaffar Khan is allied with the Congress, and he refused to join Pakistan. But Mujib was a man, he was going to do to do for Pakistan. And today, 
it is a history that you are telling me and what my father told me he says mujib told me that we don't we don't want to leave we don't want to leave we live in pakistan but the establishment of islamabad have decided to that we don't carry this baggage more and they now never leave me this is 20th march of the last my father told me that i went to sheikh mujib and sheikh mujib told me mr bizanjo you now must leave dhaka and i'm very much sure from tomorrow they will crack down in dhaka and if you people have killed here you and wali khan i will never let me in my life i think better you leave then they say we have left uh, with uh, mujib and they have <coughs> crack down here and when they reach in uh, in karachi they when the, the flight was dhaka to karachi after four day both have been arrested khan abdul wali khan in that one khan abdul wali khan in mir host bizanjo is a very interesting thing uh, yesterday i was telling to some channel there are large people in pakistan especially in baluchistan khyber pakhtunkhwa even in sindh they were are against this military operation but there are few news of our coming at that time in dhaka that people are protesting there at that time uh, if you take faz faz ahmed faz habib jaleb they are the leading uh, they are not only poets they were political leaders also everybody have opposed this military operation but they have did it and when uh, mujib was arrested from here here they brought to pindi there were many protests in baluchistan and sindh at that time and i think this is this is the main connection because the baluch leadership and pashtun leadership were very close with the, uh, this uh, awami league leadership because uh, bashani was already in nap at what time he was become the president of nap and uh, ahmed kabir was a uh, leader of national party at that time because if you go to bengal they their stance was anti military but that was a more political you can say uh, <coughs> because they are the very uh, congested areas and populated areas but in baluchistan the population is very small we are 44% of uh, uh, pakistan but in the population we are 5% then baluch have started the struggle always with arms in 58 first 47 then 58 then 64 then 72 73 and baluch politics were always against the uh, dictatorship and military because we have the long history of the uh, fighting with the dictatorial and especially the military rule that's my father that's the khairbakhsh mari atawla mengal gul khan nasir there are many many people and they were always in the jail because and always there was a insurgency in baluchistan till now even today uh, there is a insurgency in baluchistan against the army Uh, my father won the election in 1963 i think uh, but after election he took oath and after one month he went to the jail for the whole term he was in jail when he was a member of the uh, assembly again my father uh, took part in the uh, elections and became the member of the national assembly in east pakistan uh, west east pakistan mujib and these people and in, in the west pakistan wali khan khosbo bizanjo they were the member of that assembly when the formation of this country uh, became this was a not created in one day actually 
but this is a creation of Bengalis actually. This is not a creation of West Pakistan actually. Pakistan is the creation of Bengalis and those people who are living in India. Because there is no such struggle in the name of Pakistan there. If you uh, and you remember, the Union's party, one in uh, uh, Punjab and uh, Muslim League are lost. Same position was in uh, Khyber Pakhtukha at the NWFP. The Muslim League have lost. In Sindh, it was uh, also 50-50. Muslim League have won the election only in Bengal. Because of this migration from India to uh, Pakistan, that uh, now people living in Karachi speaking Urdu. Actually, this was the demand of Pakistan. Bengalis and people living in the uh, other side of the border. Balochistan have joined Pakistan lately, around three, four, uh, um, around, uh, after one year, you can say. Then this was an agreement with uh, uh, Jinnah that we are joining Pakistan, but our all the rights will be reserved. The defense, foreign affairs, currency will be the, uh, of Pakistan, but rest of the powers will go to the that federating unit. The word used not promise even. The federating unit, other we call it the national units. But when Sikandar Mirza came, and he started saying that there is a no Bengali, there is a no Punjabi, there is a no Baloch. And this is actually the violation of this ag agreement, which Qaeda Azum Muhammad Ali Jinnah did with the, uh, all the nationalities. And he uh, started saying that the language problem in Bengal, then in Sindh, especially the Skandar Mirza and Ayub Khan, they said this is a Pakistan, it's a not for the nationalities, it's a for the Muslims. This is a country of the Muslims, but our demand was this, no, this is a country of the people, and this is a country of the nationalities. Because of that, they have imposed one unit. One unit means there is a no nationality, there is a no language, what the federation decide, what the federal government decide, that is the final order. And they have, uh, even in Baluchistan, in, uh, on our side, I don't, don't know in the, at that time in the Bengal, people are not allowed to write their uh, nationalities with their names. And this was the uh, actual one unit. The one unit is against the nationalities because they know it without imposing one unit, they cannot control the nationalities, which they have did. This was an actual uh, one unit. My father told me that uh, after the election, Bhutto came to us. And he told me that how it's possible that I also should be in power equally as Mujib. My father told Mr. Zulfkarli, look, how it's possible? You are running a federation. And East Bengal is the majority. How you can be equally shareholder? He said, no. I want equal share. Then this story told by father to me, then uh, I have listened from uh, Altaf Guha. Finally, I read it from uh, Altaf Guha's book. Because this man was so uh, power hungry man. Uh, when he was foreign minister of Ayub Khan, this uh, Bhutto, Bhutto has started some agitation as a foreign minister. Gwarayu says that 
Bhutto called me from, I was somewhere ambassador or something, but I was not in Pakistan. And he, came, he says that come and tell your friend what's the problem with you. The interesting thing Goharayub told me, he says when I, we, I have come from there, he was in a president's office. I said, Bhutto, what's the problem with you? As soon as possible, I want to come on this seat. Actually, Bhutto have tried to convince the Baloch leadership and Pashtun leadership that you don't go with Sheikh Mujib Rahman. But they have different mind and different mindsets. They refuse Bhutto. And they have come, they have stayed here for uh, around more than two weeks discussing uh, things with Mujib. And uh, one thing I remember by now when uh, Benazir case was happened, it was uh, before two or three days before 25th or uh, 26th March, that my father told me that we were staying in some hotel at that time. I don't remember which hotel in Dhaka. But that Black Day was announced by Awami League. And he says that uh, even all the official vehicles were moving on the road, but with a black flag. At that day, Wali Khan told me that Bengalis have decided now they will not live with us. Because uh, Bhutto had created uh, emotions against the Bengalis, the problem become how to recognize Bengal now. Again, this national party and these people have very long struggle to convince the people to recognize this uh, Bangladesh. That's a very famous uh, poem of Habib Jalib. Uh, her daughter is here. He can uh, also sing that. Ke na manzur to na manzur, na manzur to kya manzur. Actually, this was demand from the national party and the people of Baluchistan, Sindh, and all the uh, leftists and uh, progressive people that immediately you should recognize the Bengal as Bangladesh. Definitely it's a honor for me and it's a honor for my political party also. But uh, we have demanded today even. Because now what happened in uh, 1971 that's gone now. Now I think the people of Bengal is a now new generation. In Pakistan also there is a new generation. In Bengal the young guys maybe know something but I what I have talking from last two days they also know very little. <coughs> maybe in Pakistan people don't know what happened. The young guys have come, the, that my son, uh, the new generation. One thing must be clear now, Pakistan should apologize officially first. And second, because what I see here and uh, what I see in Pakistan, even after getting the independence of 41 years, but still the establishment is not so weak here. Still democracy is under threat here and still democracy is under threat there. My wish will be that both the nations have must realize and they started a new agreement with each, with each other with the new uh, relations with the two sovereign countries and we can be friend because it is not uh, my father is not alive maybe the many people their father is not alive things have gone after the second world war the whole Europe is becoming united then why do we don't do trade with each other There are the many things, uh, 
uh, which uh, Bangladesh need from Pakistan. There are many things <coughs> Pakistan needs from Bangladesh. And I think we have to start a new relation with each other. But my demand will be we have to tell truth to our young.